Hello everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Gruul Arcbow. We're going to go ahead and take this deck back over to Mythic. Um, we played it over in Mythic just a little bit ago. Uh, well, a few days ago, and it did pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and take it back over there. This is Hawkeye. He's my cat. He's awesome. And he wanted to come see some Arcbow action. So that's what we got. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and play Ilharg. Just a really awesome card that's um, you know, a card that hasn't seen very much play, but I want to try to give it its due and, um, and everything. So yeah, we got our Ilharg deck, uh, got our Nullhide Feroxes, throwing our claws out there and going to try to smash. That's our, that's our deck. Pretty self-explanatory, not really too much to it. Yeah, Hawkeye has a little bit of a shorter tail. Um, he was a, a stray cat whenever he was a little baby kitten. He was a stray kitten and uh, in from Iowa. And in the winter in Iowa, part of his tail froze off, actually. And so that's why he's got a little bit of a shorter tail. But he's doing good now. He's like around, I don't know, he's like 11 or 12 or so years old now. I don't know what is going on over here. We just had some connection issues with Arena last video. What is going on? You're having connect connection issues just now yourself as well? Arena's crashing? No. Hey, Hood, thank you so much for that sub there. Our third sub of the day. Look at that marked down. All right. Maybe it works now. Head on over to Ranked for some Gruel Arcbow action. So we're going to be playing five matches, trying to win two out of the three, if possible. Oh, I should have moved from Angrath because we just went one and two with Angrath. Mm. I don't really like this hand, but our, our first two turns are awesome. So hopefully by turn three, we draw we draw other cards. This is where drawing an arc bow would be perfect. Arcbow. Alright, Ravager Worm's cool. I was playing Teamer. Temer. <laughs> hey, Demi. Arcbow. My favorite card. Hey, Sonar. Thanks for that uh, sub conversion there. No, I'm not going to Arcbow for two. We'll arc bow for five next turn. Find Ilharg or Nullhide. Yeah, I would, yep. I would not arc bow for less than four with this deck. Unless I, like, had 
only four mana or more cost cards and I only had three lands and I had nothing, you know, and I was really, uh, desperate. That'd be the only time. Yeah, I really like the new look of that Soren Planeswalker too. See, that's that's how Sor that's how Planeswalker should be designed. I think that's a really good, really well designed Planeswalker. I like it. Lame. Ilharg. Ilharg. I guess I could have arc boat. I mean this This is just lethal anyway, but I guess I could have you know, if if this wasn't lethal, I could have, you know, arc boat for um yeah, you know, for six to try to find another Ravager Worm or or a Ronus, but I mean we were killing our opponent, so you know whatever. There it is, the Ilharg Ravager Worm combo, Hawkeye. It's a good one. Ravager Worm it's animations like just like how Hawkeye eats his food. Hum. Hey, Daxter, we got a donation deck. Yeah. Play it tomorrow, second or third slot? Absolutely. Thank you very much for that donation deck, Daxter. Yep, we'll play that tomorrow. So our opponent's playing Teamer stuff. Teamer steal our stuff. Um, Thorn Lieutenant is like the card that, yeah, I think I'll take out Lieutenant for Coil. Gives me 24 creatures. Let's do that. I want to have Coil for Phoenix. I could Carney T. This could be a Carney T. Kind of mashup. Well, I mean, if we draw a green source, our hand's actually not that bad. It, you know, Domri, Domri, big things. You know, we just had to draw the green land. I'll still ship it though, because um, it's still not not the fastest. Let's we'll see if we can get a mana creature. This would be looking a whole lot better as a Paradise Druid. So I feel like if I would have played the Land of War off that it will it will, you know, die. And I'm gonna keep it in hand instead. So hopefully, uh, I mean, hopefully we get to the four mana, and I'm thinking I can, may just be able to ditch the land war off to the arc bow, like later on. But you know, maybe we don't actually draw the fourth mana. <laughs> yeah, most everything. I've got the card styles for not a, not every card, but you know, a lot of them. Most most all of them I play like. Arcbow is not a uh, not available with the card style, unfortunately. They don't have card style basic lands yet, which is rude. Maybe I play Lanowar off here. So if I cast Nullhide Ferox, I'm just never going to be able to cast the Domri. So we'll play the Domri first. Alright, that's fine. I mean, I prefer that not to happen, because Real Mystic's awesome. You know, I'd rather have Domri in play than them have a 3-2, but, you know. Oh well.
Nissa. Power surges through these lands. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Well, that was a great turn for them. That was a great sequence. Frilled Mystic into Nissa Lava Coil. Yeah, I guess I could have just not played anything and not let Frilled Mystic uh, do anything. That's certainly... Yeah, I could have just, just activated Arc Bow at the 4 mana. That ends up... Honestly, like, it, that might, you know, for how this is played out, that would have been a better play for how this is played out. Um, activating Arc Bow for 4 isn't super reliable on hitting, and I was hoping to get, you know, like, the Domri in play and, and everything. But, yeah, for how this has worked out, that would have been better. I like the regular cosmetics more than the than the glass pane style. I like how um, I like keeping them all kind of the same with the glass tiles. So expecting them to have another burn spell here for the Ferox. So now that, yeah, now that I've seen Frilled Mystic, I'm certainly not going to make that same play that, that I just did. I honestly wasn't really expecting Frilled Mystic too, too much there. Pigs just jumping out of the deck. You know. I can't really beat another Frilled Mystic. Unfortunately, Nissa has just too much loyalty for me to kill Nissa also. How they're looking at their hand like that, it definitely seems like another Frilled Mystic. Yeah, I mean, my, my only option is to, to use removal for these two things and, and pass, but I don't feel like that's going to be good enough. I could Coil again. Um, yep, another Frilled Mystic. All right, so we know more about our opponent's deck now. So yeah, seeing these frilled mystics definitely means I need to activate Arcbow a little bit more. Also puts up the value of Domri for sure. Thorn Lieutenant matches up well against, uh, I don't know. Do I really want these coils? I'm not sure I want these Domri's, these four mana Domri's. Maybe I just want Carnage Tyrant over the four mana Domri's. Yeah, let's just do that. So 
we're not like four mana Domri's like card of course that we can only play into Furled Mystic. All the other, you know, I want to keep all these creatures. I want to keep a lot of hits for Arcbo. Or now if we play like that same game, I would have just um, activated Arcbo all the time. I mean, I have I have Vivian's Arcbo. How can you think that my deck's not good against Frilled Mystic? I, have, I just I wasn't expecting my opponent to have it. To be honest, I was not expecting that card. But how? Like, there's like one one card in the format, maybe like Little Teferi is like the only better card in the format than Arcbo against Frilled Mystic. I don't know. We're gonna need some lands. That was a ter terrible draw step. Uh, yeah, Parmeggio, you're talking about Disfigure, and yes, Disfigure will see play. Land, whew, barely got there. I guess I have Ronis, so I shouldn't be trying to trade yet. Wow, okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. Yeah, but it, yeah, it's it's an instant. Yeah, being an instant is a whole lot better than being an enchantment. All right, land, 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 tilt. I could see my opponent having an entrancing melody again. We saw a melody last game. We'll just trade. We just want to draw lands. Even like the rest of the game, just drawing lands is good because we'll just activate Arc Bow. That's all we want. Like, I was not going to play a Ronus into a Frilled Mystic, but they can't have Frilled Mystic up, so. Ronus time. Alright, down to six. Now we can just sit back with our arc bow. Lame. So if I hit, if I just activate arc bow for six, and if I hit Ravager Worm, they die. So that's probably a reason just to activate it right now. No, Null Light Paris doesn't have Trample. I can't just... I don't play Ronus and... It's not... It's, there's no Trample anywhere. 
Why does everybody think I have trample? Ravager Worm! One and O. <laughs> yeah, whenever yeah, whenever your opponent steals your your god, then they get to choose if they want to put it back in inside the library or not. <laughs> no, Ronus doesn't give trample also. Oh man, double the power and give trample. It it would see a little bit more play than it does. Uh, no, Hexproof does not make Nullhide Ferox immune to Death Touch, no. Okay. Next one. Sure. Green pool. So probably a band deck. Probably. No, if you discard a, a god to arc bow, you don't put it back in your library. Because it only it only says whenever the card would die, you get to put it back in into the library, not if it would get discarded. So if I play Domri and they remove Thorn Lieutenant, then they can kill Domri. They can't kill. They can't remove Thorn Lieutenant. Let's see some panicans. Come and destroy. The ties that bind us all. I'll block. Land fights for us. Maybe I won't. Nah, I guess I do. So yeah, I could go Ferox. Ferox fight Druid, but then I'm not attacking Vivian, or I play this thing. I could just cast Spellbreaker Bow now that we drew the bow, but then I don't get to fight anything. Um, I'm gonna play Ferox. It's really big. So I want to fight. And I think this is better than Spellbreaker attack Nissa. I think that's fine. No, stop drawing lands. Rise, my elemental friend. Hmm. 
No more getting pushed around. Wish we could play the Vivian's arc bow and everything too. I wish I could kill more of their lands and stuff. I could, so I could just attack Ferox. I could have just attacked Ferox at Nyssa, and they chump block with their 5-5, five five, and then I have, like, my Ferox kill a breeding pool or whatever, but they get to keep that Nyssa around, and, you know, like, that's, that's trouble. Uh, no idea what decks are well positioned after M20. It's... It's very early for that. I mean, it's not... It's still pretty early. I'm I'm just focused on the current format right now. So I get to play one card. Well, they don't have Frilled Mystic. These things are just so big. Just so big. I can still play Arcbo for six mana. In a future turn. <clears throat> what is pressure on with these 6-6s? Six We're going to have to start blocking. They don't have a lot of resources. All right, Lieutenant out for Coil. Hmm. Considering trimming one or two of these Domries. For shock. I definitely want the coils because of Shalai, Tristani. I like shock to be honest here. I just didn't really see anything that I necessarily one to cut. I think I like the Domries too. We could get like a a board stall where Domri can get us more lands or give our Ilhar haste. But no, I, I like Shock in this matchup. Like Sh Shock would have been perfect here. This would have been a perfect time for Shock. There are times though that whenever my opponent just leads with Paradise Druid like they did the last game where I don't like shock nearly as much. But it would have been great here. Shock would have looked a lot better than Lava Coil.
Yeah, we're gonna yeah, Ravager Worm can take this Lyra down. Oh, come on. This isn't a fight you can win. Here goes nothing. Rude. Just have two cards in hand. No accord, no peace. I'm gonna kill the incubation druid before it turns into a three-five. Ravnica deserves its demise. That's more like it. Hmm. That's slightly oh, annoying. Like all mouth and no hands. Did not get the land for Ravager Worm there, unfortunately. So now if my opponent just activates July, I die. So they have Lyra Dawnbringer too, huh? This card looked really, really bad. Probably looked better on the play than on the draw, but it looked really bad. I want to keep one in the deck, though. War boss is not good against Lyra at all. Forced to attack into a Lyra. Not very good there. Kind of want Carnage Tyrant. Alright, we're going to play one Carnage Tyrant over the Lava Coil. Yeah, I like Domri 4 on the play here. I think I should have taken it out on the draw completely, but I don't. I really don't want to cut it on the play. Well, no mana creatures. This is not ideal. But we'll see how it goes. No mana creature? Wow, no mana creature for them. Do they have Dovin's Veto? Whatever, I'm not I'm not gonna not play my card. Because maybe they have a Dovin's Veto. What are they keeping? Why why would you possibly keep that hand? It's gotta have like Lyra in it or something. No 
All right, go little piggy, go. Get to that market. Good job, piggy. All right, 2-0. Oh. <laughs> Ilhark, 20 damage burn spell. <laughs> yep, Piggy got to that market. I feel like my opponent should have mulliganed their hand. And I think that they're probably thinking that too. Ride a boot now. I would, I would never, yeah, I'm, I'm never cutting Arcbow in this deck. In any of these decks, I'm not, not cutting Arcbow. Like, against that ramp deck, you know, are asking, is it good there? Good chance the battlefield kind of stalls out, and Arcbow digs really far to find, like, our extra Ravager Worms to try to get all the Ravager Worms possible and get Ilharg and get Ronis and things like that. It, it just makes every draw step so good later in the game. Is it good on turn one through four? No. But turn five and after it's like you want it because it makes all like your future turns very good. But no, it's not it's not the card that uh, helps you the first part of the game. Alright, so mono red is going to be mono dead when we play all these beasts. And a Steam King could definitely kill us, yeah. <laughs> Still. They can just chump block a little bit with these through these null hides. Just because Arcbow doesn't necessarily beat turn 3 Nissa by itself doesn't mean that you just get rid of the card. You need to be able to win other games. What do you think of a black-green variation of Arcbow with Demon of Catastrophe? Hmm. Yeah, Demon of Catastrophe sounds pretty sweet. Please not another Chain Whirler. Please not another Chain Whirler. Good. Two Chain Whirlers is really tough. You and I are gonna take them out. Demon Catastrophes is pretty sweet. Oh, so what Arcbow heard... does is it makes the... Uh, uh, yeah, I love seeing that get exiled. It makes like the really big creatures that don't have an ETB effect and are hard to play... Otherwise, you know, like your Lyra Dawnbringer, your Ilhar, because it makes the Il, uh, like those kind of cards, and you know, the Arcbow does make those cards much better. And yeah, Demon of Catastrophes is kind of like that. So yeah, you, yeah, Black Green with Demon of Catastrophes, Doom Whisperer. You can get some giant, giant creatures there in Black Green. Is does demon say like whenever you cast it you have to like sacrifice a creature? It's not whenever it enters. I don't remember the exact text on the card. If it's like whenever it enters you sacrifice, I'm I'm out. But if it's like whenever you cast, that could be good. I'm so glad they chump blocked with their 
Chain Whirler last turn. It's cast. Yeah, so there it goes. Yeah, I'm in there. So do I want to attack with Ferox and then play Phoenix, or do I want to attack with Phoenix and play Ferox? I think I attack with Phoenix and play Ferox. Alright, whiff on Frenzy for this turn, even with having a Chandra in play. It's not very likely. I don't know if that was the best blocking they could do. Yeah, blocking the Trampler with the Firebrand doesn't seem ideal. All right, so we need them to hit three lands in a row. <laughs> no problem. Okay, that's that's a good hit too. Lands and frenzies. Yuck. Okay, I don't. Well, I don't know. Those blockers for Feroxes. Not ideal. Hopefully that card on top's another land. So otherwise they can go crazy with Steamkins if they get to play two spells here. We really hope it at least it doesn't cost one mana. We want to draw Ronus or Ravager Worm. Ronus or Ravager Worm? Huh. Oh, right. Yeah, because they can stay alive. Trampling Ilharg and plus Phoenix. It's going to kill them no matter what. There, I guess they don't have anything else. All right, so we're going to have Shock, Coil, Bronte, and Domri out. This Domri out? It's like fighting that valuable? Probably not. I guess Paradise Druid should be taking that out a little bit more. All 
All right, looks good. Looks good. Phoenix, you know, gets coiled and also can just get, you know, like they can have like a uh, a lightning strike plus firebrand to get rid of Phoenix. Phoenix doesn't, or just a lightning strike plus a chain whirler. You know, light, uh, it doesn't, you know, Phoenix doesn't even block chain whirler. So I'm taking it out. Carnage Tyrant's honestly pretty great in this matchup too. Just cost six mana. It's really hard to deal with. And it tramples. So I get the steam kin and I don't have any removal for it right now. Wouldn't mind drawing a shocker or coil here. At least the Phoenix is gone, so that's good. I'm playing the spellbreaker. Of course. Um, want to want to be able to have Bronte on Kill a Frenzy. Yeah, got to take the turn off and have Bronson on Kill Frenzy. Just got to do that. They took their turn off to play Frenzy. I'm taking my turn off to destroy Frenzy. Steamkin's too big for Thorn Lieutenant now. Sit back and watch it burn. Hmm. That was a good card for them. Well, I'm not planning on attacking Chandra. Of course not. Just like last game, I'm gonna attack Chandra. I'm not not planning on attacking Chandra. That's not that's not a good way to win a race, a damage race. I should attack. Like I should be attacking here first before playing Ilharg, so my opponent has less information about my turn and everything. But I do like getting the lava runners out of out of there because you know they jump block the Ferox very well. This is just gonna be bad for you. War boss. Hmm. 
<laughs> Where's Palaka Worm? Not in the deck. Yes, Palaka Worm's good to, to get out of Ilharg, but like having a 7 mana card where you have to have an... Like, basically the only way to play it is have your 5 mana card in play and then attack with your 5 mana card. Unfortunately, we have to shock there with the Thorn Lieutenant. Hmm. They just let... They just blocked the 2-3 instead of the 6-6. Six, six. I mean, obviously we could have put them either one at 6 power. All right, Ilharg from here. From here... Um, you know, drawing Ilharg in three turns don't think would be a very good draw. So I'm not putting it back in the in the deck. We need to try to kill our opponent faster than that. The Chandra. Perfect. What a glorious day for some anarchy. Okay. GG's. Alright, we'll play two more matches here with Gruel Arkbo. So far, so good. So far, so good. R means we're playing it in ranked. So this, um, the two Ds is a donation deck that a viewer donated for me to play. The Rs mean that we're playing the deck over in ranked. Looks like we're one win away from cracking top 100. Let's see if we can get there. Yay, Arkbo. <laughs> it means Todd has rigged the shuffler. <laughs> it means rigged. <laughs> Yeah, I made this deck, uh, Mr. Bishop, man. All right, turn one land war off on the play means that we lose. Oh, we know we are on the we are on the play. Never mind, our opponent's on the draw. Man, we have a small chance now. Really, deck man links to the wrong deck. Did I not update that? Hmm. Does not look like I did. I think this could work out pretty well against Just Guy Control. And you can get like an, another Carnage Tyrant in the sideboard or put another one in the main, but I, I think this would be a pretty decent deck to play against. Jeskai control, to be honest. They have so much mana, I'm so jealous. A 
A land would make their thor their Thorn Lieutenant be a 6-7. What? Mirror match? I'm so jealous. All right, Phoenix or activate Arcbow. Phoenix. Phoenix and Lieutenant can join together to take down an Ilharg, or Phoenix can just block a Nullhide Ferox into perpetuity. Please, no Ronis. Or Ravager Worm. Ugh. Yuck. Doesn't really matter which way I block. Either way, I'm, I'm losing Nullhide Ferox and Thorn Lieutenant. And they're losing Ilharg, and I have six six toughness either way. That Spellbreaker should, should definitely have been attacking. And the Thorn Lieutenant. I mean, the, the Thorn Lieutenant, they should just activate the Thorn Lieutenant. Unless, well, they, they're probably playing something else. I'm going to say they could turn that thing into a 6-7 and then double it to be a 12-7. Yeah, we're playing the mirror match. Well, that's cool. Us being super dead, not so cool. So they can they just get to arc bow here and either grab Ronus or they just get to get Ronus put Ronus back into play. Yeah, we have we have a viewer here playing. That's that's pretty sweet. Never forget. Oh. I mean, I had to I had to block spellbreaker, so that's three, seven, eight, nine, so it puts me down to one. Um I don't I don't think I can stay alive here. Right? Like, Ravager Worm can eat one creature, but they still have three creatures, and I only have two. There's nothing that, like, wipes up more creatures or deals 20. Hmm. 
I guess I'm supposed to be playing Bronte. Guess we don't need Carnage Iron, just trades with the four drop. You don't have Lanowar. So wait, you're missing a Thorn Lieutenant and an Arc Bow. Um, to play a Lava Coil and uh, to play to play a Fourth Paradise Druid. And yeah, like a Lava Coil or a Kiora. Actually, yeah, probably a Kiora. Yeah, a Paradise Druid and a Kiora. There's a couple uncommons. So we're going to go 3 Bronte. Yeah, no. Yeah, spending 4 mana to kill the Arcbow is... No, it's not ideal at all. But the alternative is just losing to Arcbow. So... Yes, spending four mana to kill Arcbo is unfortunate, but I'll take that over the alternative of just losing the game. Their hand's been a little better. They've had the mana creature advantage. Both of these games so far. I have just all these lands. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hurt when this is through. Spellbreaker kills my Domri. I guess they'd have to have Red Source Spellbreaker. And not tap Paradise Druid. Okay. What? Can't finish the job. Ah, these go here, those go there. Um, I don't I don't know if I've played against Hero. I don't remember, you know, like last time. We haven't played against Hero today. Hey, Quilting. Quilting. That's a good card. Alright, Paradise Druid out of here, which looked to be our opponent's second red source. It's the only one that we'd seen so far. No. Well, darn it. Not good for us. Ooh, just taking it. If they're, if they're planning on just activating Arcbo anyway, a little surprised they didn't just do that first. You know, maybe they get like a Null Hide that they want to trade the Null Hide with the Ravager Worm. But of course, maybe they don't want to actually trade Null Hide and they just want to take it. Wow, they missed. We're lucky. Ugh.
<laughs> yeah. Opponent kind of outdrew us. That's all right. It's me not having, you know, I have I have the eight lands. Our opponent has five lands. It's a big difference. I have, I guess I have a little, yeah, okay, never mind. I was going to say I have no idea why they let us on tab with Arkbow, but I guess they want to chump block and then sacrifice, but that, that can't really be worth it. What do we get? Hmm. I would have, should have gave myself one more mana. Uh, I guess I should have only gone for seven, not eight. You know, go go for maximum because you want to hit like the, the best thing you can. Look at all the cards. It's unfortunate. They get they get an activation here. And they, it's possible they could have a coil. Yeah, it's possible. That, yeah, the Brontodon could have been the eighth card as well. But in that case, we would have just been drawing the Brontodon, which would have been a good draw step and, you know, gotten, like, the Ilharg, the Ilharg in play. Um, our opponent should not be playing this Brontodon at all. They should definitely have just been activating theirs. Their arc bow. Like, that's, that's certainly just an, an activate... Activation for six. I guess maybe they really. I guess they maybe really like their other card. Oh no! And they just activate for three. Yeah, yeah. That that definitely whiffs. Well, let's see how. Let's see how we can finish this game out, if we can. Yeah, it's possible we would already be dead by the, to the Phoenix right now if our opponent was just attacking us with Phoenix a bunch. <laughs> Have we come across a mirror? I don't know. We had one of the 1,125 wonderful viewers here in, in chat that decided to, to play the deck as well. It's a good deck. We need them to draw lands, like how many, like all these lands that we have. That's what we need. We need them to start drawing a bunch of lands too. All right. Well, Domri's gonna die to Phoenix. So, do I want to kill Bronton or Spellbreaker? You think I'm a crazy um. Where do you see my mates? I mean, I guess Bronton. If I draw, because if I draw another Arcbow, I want that that Bronte out of here, right? And of course, keeping this mount in hand because we could draw that arc bow. I was raised by wolves, though they might have also just been big dogs.
So if I fight, I kill Spellbreaker, but then the, the power of these creatures go down, so then we have a 3-1, a 3-1, and a 5-1. So they could like have Bronzedon block 3-1, Landwerelf block 5-1. Phoenix block Ravager. They take 3. My wild beasts will bring your comeuppance. I like where where I'm at with that spot. Going to five, and I have Ronus, Worm, and Elf to Brontodon and Phoenix. If I would have done a post combat, then they could have killed the the Worm with like a double block. And then, but yeah, we could have like killed the Phoenix Egg. But this like forces them, no, 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 don't block there, okay, there you go. Yeah, our, our opponent just played too scared here. So yeah, if you're, if you're our opponent watching this later, needed to, one, just be attacking with our rekindling Phoenix the whole time, but need to use Arc Bow more aggressively. Like, two turns they could have arc bowed for six and just played Brontodon, like, instead. They would have just arc bowed for six those turns. I was pretty dead. All right, Domri out on the draw, coil in. All right, we'll see if our opponent has the mana creature advantage again. I'm no, I'm not like playing. Not really stopping my opponent from, from doing that by playing a bunch of shocks. Alright, so they're on a six card hand. Ass? Yay, no mana creature. Alright, we need no more lands though. Yet again, it's kind of looking like last game. Let's keep in a land heavy hand and drawing a bunch of land still. <laughs> no more lands. Man, all three draw stops being lands. So I'm going to see if they have Phoenix to coil. I'll try their Coil Phoenix. Like, you know, if we draw Arc Bow, that's when the Brontodon matters. Stop. Four for four, drawing lands? Ugh. We got a third of the lands from our deck, eight of, eight of our 24 in the first 11 cards. Need creatures or arc bow. Just you know, I just need I need spells. I can't I can't keep drawing lands. I mean our opponent's stuck on lands, which is good for us, but once they start drawing lands, then they'll have a bunch of stuff to play. So. Okay. 
where it's not like I'll just suddenly have a bunch of stuff to play. Every every land I draw is it's very dead. dead. I'm just going to try to get a bunch of damage in here. And, you know, try to try to tease out a win with, like, drawing a, a Ronus. Yeah, Ronus, Ravager Worm. That's what we need. Could have could have gone for the land war elf to make them only be able to bow for four instead of five, but then they still get the three four in play. What? No. Bow. I guess I guess this is. I guess if they bow first, and they whiff, they die. But I would still be bowing first here. And looking, you know, they could hit Null Hide or, or Ill Hog themselves. Oh, wow, they would have whiffed. Well, they still would have just blocked with the Paradise Druid. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think Galt is really necessary. There's just a lot of times like where Galta would just be kind of dead. But, you know, Galta has a really high upside. Galta can just win games that you may not have otherwise won. Yeah, this one's looking really good for us now. They need to arc bow for four to hit Null Hide Ferox. I mean, they, they just stay here. They just Null Hide for four. Yeah, like arc bow for four, hit Null Hide. Null Hide block Ilharg. And then chump the chump my null hide. All right, we're seventy one. GG's the opponent. GG's. Hey folks, he's trying. He or she, like, they're, they're trying. We don't need to... Yeah. it's. I mean, our opponent's probably really new to Arcbow, you know? Like, Arcbow's not necessarily the easiest card to use. Yeah, it's probably new to the deck and everything. It's okay. Alright, we're playing one more match here. Yeah. Maybe we should not have played one more match. <laughs> Uh, this hand would be great with two lands. One land is a little risky. Hmm. I mean, this goes perfectly. You know, if we draw a land, like, this could, this could go perfectly. You know, like, this, this is, like, a best possible curve. Yeah, Angry Ben, I, I, I talked during during the match, I was talking about different lines that I, I would have preferred my opponent to be taking. I don't really want to go through all of them again. Yeah, I guess, yeah, we'll try it. Get this land on top. Last couple games, we've been drawing a lot of lands. I like... Oh no. I'm gonna say I like our chances of drawing a land.
I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Come on, there you go. We don't have a good chance to win this game. I train every day. No one is more prepared. Hone your prowess. It's not a good chance. Toxicity. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there. Welcome to the channel. It's our fourth sub of the day. Target yourself. Yeah. Should target Liliana. And Flizipper with that Twitch Prime sub. Um... Thanks, Fliz Flizipper. Hmm. It's our fifth sub of the day. So Basilica Bell Hunt, like, I don't, so I'm going to keep this in hand because of, like, Basilica Bell Hunt. Um, I, I didn't think, like, my, like, if my opponent had a Wrath, they would have played it last turn, right? So, like, I didn't really think that they had a, a Wrath. Keep up the pace. Very good chance this misses. I really hope it doesn't. They have a, a two mana removal spell for my Paradise Druid, and their Teferi gets to stick around. So I could attack with the Land War Elves also to make sure it dies, but then I don't get to do anything. I think it's better to, to actually do something. Yay! We will meet again. I don't really want to discard any of these cards to to the arc bow. I'm gonna play the the phoenix that doesn't die to a sweeper. I guess I guess I could have attacked with that land war off too. I was you know debating between which one to play up until that point. Come, little ember, and learn your true power. We are the future. Yeah, maybe they take Null Hide. Nope, didn't take Null Hide. They kept that card on top pretty quickly. Oh, oh, how pretty. 
predictable. Oh, uh, could have just yeah, could have gone to Arkbo for wanting to get the the free Ferox. True. Wait. Uh, yeah. Well, Ferox didn't get wrathed away. My students are loyal geniuses. Now that doesn't make any sense, my opponent activating that right now. Wow. These stupid Domeries. That's really unfortunate. Didn't get any good creature here. Gonna get like a Ravager Worm to eat this 2-2. I don't think ditching ditching the forest to look for three. You know, basically we'd have like Spellbreaker and, and then the two mana creatures. I guess Thorn Lieutenant as well, but I think just just playing the land, get to four, and then we'll start activating Arcbow next turn. That's the way we're gonna go here. Oh, there's just a Tameo in their deck. Tameo's great. You will be excellent research. That card's awesome. The past is never forgotten. I can't be Tamio. I will not stand for such violence. I should be able to pay two to be able to reactivate. No hides passive. Turn it back on. Go, Ferox, go. I'm known for my excellent timing. Time is much more malleable than people think. Man, Othakaya is so good. Gained just so much Only life. Time will tell. So we'll kind of see... I'll just keep this mountain in hand to, you know, see, like, if we want to ditch this mountain to the Arcbow or, or not. You know, like, we'll, we'll just oh, have I've a little bit more information. We do know we get... We can, at the very worst, have the Rekindling Phoenix back this next turn.
Hmm. Does Tommy really do anything here? I don't think so. Trust me, I have a plan. All right, Narcbo is just gonna is gonna keep grinding him out. Ugh. Oh yeah, Corsa twenty twenty is looking sweet. I'm liking the set so far. Attack. Yeah, I saw your... Yeah, real high on Cavalier of Dawn. Which makes sense, like... Yeah, entering and destroying something... Even giving them a 3-3 is still really powerful. Stop getting rid of my Nullhide. What? They have double Othakaya? What? What's going on here? Are they just gonna kill me with a third Othakaya? Or a fourth one, I mean. Like, that's three. Do they have a fourth? I guess they just have Teferi. Yeah, Teferi kills me. Alright, we haven't seen Ronus, like, at all, right? Let's go for Ronus. Ronus? Ugh! I thought that was Ronus! Ugh. Yeah, I guess I should have just done six, shouldn't I? Because if we hit, if we hit the Ronus, the Paradise Druid wasn't going to really matter. Yeah, I should have just done six. Well, no Othakaya. That lagged out there for a second. All right, so we're going with our boss and tyrant. Our tyrant boss. Yeah. Remember when... Hey, thanks, Matthew. Thanks for that resub there. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah, remember when we only had, like, one land for the entire match? We somehow won. All right, uh, what am I cutting? Ilharg, Ronus, Ravager Worm. I don't think it's Thorn Lieutenant. I like the three mana card. It's probably something at the top end. 
All those cards are pretty cool, though. I'm not not going to cut Domri. Oh, y'all are, like, really far behind. Maybe. Maybe just Thorn Lieutenant. Keep keep all this top end stuff. Does make Arc Boat better. Yeah, we got War Boss. No, I really like Ravager Worm. I'm I'm really like Ravager Worm. Um <clears throat> Between Ravager Worm between destroying Ascanta them having like flyers like Lyra or like this or like a, a bell haunt that's annoying, killing those, also just having haste. Um, other times, really, really like Ravager Worm. I think Ronus, Ilharg, those are reasonable cards to, to trim on. I'm just gonna go with them. All right, we got the backup arc bow for whenever one gets thought erasured away. We got the backup arc bow. My arena is definitely going to need a reset after this. All right, arc bow in play. All right, whatever. I'll play Elfin Arcbow. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. I've got it. Someone suggested you could play the new Swamp's Matter creature with Scape Shift. Yeah, yeah, that's a good Scape Shift target for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's try this. So we won't have the mana to Ravager Worm. This thing doesn't have This thing doesn't have a non mana ability, does it? No, it's just right those are both mana abilities. <clears throat> Bounce the elf. I guess it doesn't really matter where they bounce. We can just put them both back in play. That's more like it. Or so we can kill Teferi or play Arc Bow. Well now we can do both. Now we can just do both. I don't get to play Domri. I was hoping they were gonna bounce elf, because then I could go Domri, add mana, make the elf haste, and have the elf still kill the Teferi, and have the Domri in play also. Well, they don't look too close to casting Kaya's Wrath over there, with a bunch of bl blue black lands and an interplanar beacon. Yeah, Mr. Moo, that's that's gonna be the plan. Yep, that's my plan right now. Hmm. 
right, so 7, 9, 11, 15, 16. All right, I'll just go with lethal with everything on in play. So and then I'll play. Okay, well they're dead. Oh, is that not seventeen? Did I just skip something? Let's have ourselves a peek, you know, like you do. Well, I wanted Domri in play, where Domri gives other creatures haste. Because thing, if they have cast down, you know, if I play Ravager Worm, they cast down it. That's seven, nine, eleven. 13. Oh, I, w I went from 11 to 15 when I was counting. Just skipped over two of them. That's what I did. I think we were still fine, though. I think we were still fine. Fine, just fine. All right, we got a 5. We went 5 0 in Mythic with Gruul Arcbow. Gruul Arcbow with the 5 0. There we go. Five win, dream, alive and well. Even with the server problems, we were able to fight through it. But yeah, the deck, deck did really well. Um, I liked the Carnage Tyrants in the sideboard. Uh, I think those worked out really well. We didn't really use Big Domri too much, but it's a it's a fine card. Um, but man, does this deck smash? Nullhide, Ilharg, Ronus. People aren't really ready for really big creatures these days. I don't know what's going wrong wrong with Arena. It's it's kind of going crazy but there we go that's our deck 5-0 in mythic taking us from like n number uh, 250 or so to number 51 you know whatever we started at the beginning um yeah this deck's sweet um arcbow is just awesome just definitely love me some vivian's arcbow this card is maybe my favorite card from war of the spark it probably is I like Spark Double too. This is probably my favorite card from War of the Spark. I like it quite a bit. Um, I don't know. Maybe this deck's better positioned than Bant right now. I don't know. I need to. I need to work some more on Bant. Um, so I'd have to say that this is, you know, the, just from the very small sample of the last two times I played Bant and the last two times I played Gruel Arcbow. Gruel Arcbow. Uh, Gruel has done better than Bant has for me. I think I think the big thing is I, I think Gruel is better against Esper. I like Bant against like the all the non-Esper decks, but Gruel is better against Esper. Um So like that and that's a big key with how with how uh Popular and powerful Esper is these days. Gruel's going to be better in that matchup. Um, but, like, against other Bant decks, I think that's where I'm the least confident in Gruel is, like, against, like, Bant Ramp. I don't really... Like, that's that's a matchup that I'm not very confident with uh, Gruel. That I'm more confident with, with Bant in that matchup. Um... So there we go. Yeah, I liked all the cards here. Uh, no, nothing that I really w would want to to cut or change if I played again. I'd just play the same same seventy five if I just run it back. You know, it felt pretty good. So yeah. So the date. Yeah. So like, as far as just like that that little bit of data, which one's the better? But that's what I would say is, I like. That's how I'd kind of compare them. Is I like this deck against Esper more than I like Bant against Esper. I like Bant against the aggro decks more than I like this deck. I think I think Bant's better against all the aggro decks. I think Bant's better against, um, uh, like other mid range decks, in general. Um, 
like against like Gruul, like other Gruul decks, I'd rather be playing Bant against Gruul, for example, than Gruul against Gruul. But this deck, this deck's better against Esper though. So, um, I'm I'm not really one that that ranks decks in metagames. I'm I don't really, I don't really think of, like ranking, because. Uh, everything's kind of like subjective you know, like some decks are better against others that are better against others and things like that like it's you know like it's a it's not really just like deck number one is the best and it, it beats everything else and deck number two is the second best and it beats everything except for number one you know like that's not how magic works magic doesn't really work in rankings and so i don't i don't think that thinking in rankings is a is useful okay so there is a there's network issues right now with arena a little bit cool uh no i like i like carnage tyrant over immortal sun i think es esper is ready for immortal sun these days i don't i think immortal sun was a lot better 10 days ago uh than what it is right now i think I, basically everybody's ready for immortal sun they got to sparks and things like that and um i'd rather just have carnage tyrant especially with playing the arcbow deck arcbow being able to put in carnage tyrant too can't put in immortal sun yeah like for example like with with the bant arc bow deck i have two immortal suns in that sideboard I, I think i'm going to be taking those out um i don't i don't think i really like them too much these days i so like i said yeah mortal sun much better a little while ago than it is right now um what are good sideboard slots in this deck for bant ramp I don't know. Um, there's not a, there's not like a good sweeper that does three damage to everything. Uh, I think I think just playing it kind of like is and just trying to smash is is the best option to be honest. I don't know of like any specific cards that are really good against Bant Ramp in Gruel. I think it's just you just try to do your your game one plan of you know playing these creatures and attacking and everything and, and hope it works out. All right, so that's Gruel Arcbow. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, um, hope you enjoyed it, and please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, but that's it here for Gruel Arcbow. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.